Well, good morning. I don't know if you can see the just gentle little snow we're getting here. Maybe. Maybe it's more visible in this light. I don't know. It's very fine, very gentle snow. But not nearly here to talk about the snow so much. <laughs> Well, of course, Argo's here. Today is Friday. Friday the 22nd. You know what that means. The lock opens today. Here, just a moment. I need to get this over there. All right, there we go. So first thing you might notice is we made some ice. I'm a little bit surprised how much we've made. We've had the, the last couple nights... Uh, we'll see. Wednesday night was about 10 degrees, and it's like 18, 19 right now on Friday morning here. So, a couple cold days, and you can see we made some ice. The ice line was way up there, if you remember from my previous video. And if I zoom in a bunch, I'm hoping we can see this. This is a track through that ice, right there. It's because Sam Risley went through there yesterday, heading up to, I think, Thunder Bay, I believe. So, technically, they were the first ship through the lock this season. But, uh, the first commercial ship will be the Joseph L. Block. Followed up, probably as quickly as possible, by the Indiana Harbor. <laughs> and then followed up by a whole string. Yeah, if I remember right, before I went to bed, when I looked, there were five footers heading our way. And I believe the Dirk is coming our way. Yes, they're going to Marquette. And there's a couple shifting around up there in Duluth, heading over to two harbors. So we'll be having ships coming down. So, yeah, <laughs> this is going to be a busy place here really soon. Um, what's not busy here is Portage. Remember from some of my recent videos, this has been packed with cars. And it's been that way, well, the whole season or the whole time the lock's been closed. But, of course, with the Poe lock being opened, they can't drive across anymore, so I believe they're all parking um, down river, and they're taking, I think it's the Hiawatha, it's shuttling workers across. Kind of like what they were doing before the lock closed. Oh. There's our ice line. I wouldn't imagine it'd get much further than there. Um, you might notice that a good chunk of that temporary structure is gone. And it's open on the end there. I should have pointed that out when I was down there. You probably saw it. So I don't know if they're intending on taking it all down right now, or maybe they just were done with that section. I don't know. It's definitely not because of the balmy weather. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> that is for sure. So I'm going to keep this kind of short because I'm not sure what I want to do with this. Come on, dog. Let's keep going. If I want to make one big video for the opening day because I am planning on being at the lock at six when the Joseph L. Block locks through. Or if I want to have this be a separate video from that. So I'm going to keep this short <laughs> so I have the option of uh, combining it and not making a really long video. So we're going to continue on with our walk. And uh, it's an exciting day here. Exciting day in the Sioux. Oh, when all the ships start moving. 
it's kind of a hard to describe feeling because it's so quiet here when the lock is closed and then it's like all of a sudden it's not <laughs> all right we're gonna finish up this walk and uh this will either be it for this video or we'll be back momentarily and i'll be uh in the lock park there <laughs> checking out the joseph l block well i bet you didn't expect to see me now <laughs> uh, the fact is i recorded so much footage at the lock opening with the joseph l block going through and if i tried to make this all one video it would be very long so i'm going to break this off into a second video i'm going to get this uploaded today which is the 22nd I'm going to try to get the other video up tomorrow uh, in between recording other ships coming through because I think we have 10 upbound vessels coming our way, two downbound, and there could be more because I've not checked in a little bit. So <laughs> it's going to be a very busy weekend. Please bear with me, but that's going to be it for this one. So see you soon.